And the final one I want to show you here is about offloading data. How do you, you know, sometimes uh, the NetSuite file cabinet can begin to fill up. How do you get the data out of NetSuite? Uh, this one comes up a lot for us as well. Uh, we have a template for that. In this case, uh, I'll show you how we can send that data to Amazon S3. Again, we have a template. Um, these templates, as much as anything, are, are great ways of learning how you could build flows of your own, even if uh, exactly what we've built for you is uh, maybe not exactly what you need. So again, I can either set up a new connection or choose an existing one that I have. And uh, again, specify my NetSuite connection. And once again, we're off and running. Now in this case, we've got two flows. Uh, in, in the case of your free edition, you would be able to choose any one of these. And let's just take a look at this one. Uh, this one's a little more complicated. This is what we call an orchestration. And it's a bit more complicated because in the first step, we want to find all the projects that have NetSuite projects that have an attachment. Then once we have those, we want to grab all the files and then we want to send all the files to S3. So this is just a little more complex, uh, but just wanted to show you too that, you know, integrated I.O. and a single flow can do a lot more than just a point-to-point a -point integration. It can actually talk to multiple systems, can kind of go backwards and forwards and do a, a, a cross-check. So in this case, we'll look really quickly. We're looking at a, a project. The data shows uh, information about a project and we can see it has a, a file attached to it. There's file internal ID. And then we can use that in the next step, file internal ID uh, to grab the data out of NetSuite. Because we're not going to process the data out of NetSuite, we're just grabbing the file is what's called a block, you know, where we're not reading the file, we're just grabbing it. And then in the final step, we can send it off uh, to Amazon S3, where we get to uh, specify uh, the, the very specific things needed uh, for, for Amazon, you know, where it's running, uh, the Amazon S3 bucket, and so on. Okay, so I know 